for coming. We couldn't pick a nicer day actually for, for being here. And th these, these ribbon cutting, in my opinion, are the greatest event to be at because that means you have came, built, and done. So everybody can reap the benefits of, of what we've done. So I just wanted uh, to say thank you for coming and uh, this project, uh, I, I am I Emad am Samara, the project manager for working for the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers and this is a project that we actually partner with uh, Glenview uh, uh, on uh, to, to, to build and, and complete. So uh, I want to actually say that uh, uh, President, if you yes. uh, want to... Sure. Uh, Welcome. Yep. <laughs> thank you. So thank you. Uh, welcome everybody. What a great day to, to be here and a great project to, to celebrate some, some real progress in the community. Um, wanted to thank the Army Corps of Engineers for setting up this great event, for helping us coordinate this project and for contributing in excess of $1.1 million to get it done with uh, the addition of about 700000 from Glenview's capital improvement budget, we were able to get this job done and get it done more quickly, which is what it's all about, getting, getting infrastructure in the ground for the benefit of the community. Um, thanks also to Representative Jan Schakowsky's office, uh, whose support was invaluable to getting this project done, and to the residents of Glenview. I'm sure that when it was torn up and, 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 and wet, it was, it was a, a bit of an inconvenience, but we think with three to four foot diameter conveyance and, and detention along these streets, Delosier and Wagner and Woodlawn. It'll be a massive, massive improvement for the quality of life for, for everybody in the area. And that's what the Village Board has been prioritizing for many, many years in terms of improvement in stormwater runoff and mitigation, particularly in regions like this that were built originally without the stormwater infrastructure. So thank you for everybody for coming. We really appreciate it. We look forward to working with the Army Corps of Engineers in the future on similar projects like this. And it's, it's, a, it's a good day to enjoy the, the completion. So thank you. All right. I'm not as, uh, as polished on this, sir. So, anyways, hey, good morning, everybody. It's uh, this is a fantastic opportunity for all uh, all of us to be out here today. So, uh, on behalf of uh, Colonel Paul Culberson, um, I'm the deputy Dix deputy district engineer and senior civilian, so representing the entire uh, Chicago district, U.S. Army Corps of Engineers today. Um, Congresswoman Schakowsky, um, uh, uh, President Jenny. Um, uh, Mr. Kovalik and Mr. Vudovich of the Kovalik Construction Company and, uh, and friends and, and neighbors for coming out here today. So, again, gorgeous day for us all to be here today and I've been waiting months for to do this, right Ahmad? Yes. I do believe so. Um, it, it's important for us to celebrate these significant accomplishments and today's ribbon cutting is just a little bit of a snippet, uh, no pun intended, uh, as part of that uh, event today. So looking forward to that. Um, you know, Patrick put together a nice little booklet here, and hard to believe, but Glenview's been around since 1899, right? So, so a huge transformation that's taken place out here. Um, you know, and you look over 122 years and, and see what's, uh, what this used to look like to where we are today, and you look at this infrastructure and how that needs to modify. Um, so these environmental opportunities, environmental infrastructure opportunities are, are key to those successes. And, and everybody knows if you live in neighborhoods and you've got some flooding issues, that's not, a, that's not something you want to relish when you come home after work at night, right? So it's nice to get these projects done um, and have those resolved as we go forward here. So um, looking forward to, uh, I know as much as you guys are looking forward to uh, these improvements out here. So um, the, the core partner, not, not only with the, uh, the village here, um, uh, but also our small business opportunities out here. So I'll, I'll talk about that here uh, uh, briefly. But uh, again, this was done as part of the Cook County Environmental Infrastructure 219 project um, through the Section 219 of the Water Resources Development Act of 1992. Um, Section 219 allows the Corps of Engineers to partner um, and, and deal with these environmental infrastructure upgrades, uh, not only within Glenview, but also around the entire Chicagoland. And as was mentioned, these projects are cost shared, 75 federal, 25% uh, uh, non-federal. So great opportunities out there and a great program across the nation. So it's great to be able to take advantage of these. Um, uh, President Jenny, hey, uh, first off, I appreciate your support um, and your staff support on these. I know Ahmad talks highly about this. 
It appears we even have some residents of the district here who live in your neighborhood, so those are always good things as well, um, to be able to reap those benefits of what those projects bring to us. Um, Congresswoman Sikowski, your support, uh, not only throughout the 9th District, but to the Corps of Engineers and the entire 219 program is super invaluable, so appreciate your continued support for that, and, and it's great to see what these bring to the neighborhood, so I appreciate your support on that. Uh, Mr. Kovalik, you know, working with your company um, and being able to work through this has been huge. Our ability to work with small businesses is vital. Uh, these projects are truly set up to work with small businesses, um, and that's what helps drive the nation's economy. So our ability to tap into those uh, resources and have that uh, projects done uh, on time, within scope, schedule, budget, all those things that we harp on are, are huge. So um, finally, just want to say again, thanks to our team. Uh, Chris Allen and, and, and his support up here, um, Ahmad uh, Samara again for being our project manager, Lynn Ewing, our, our project engineer, and the entire Northern Area office. Uh, again, thanks for joining us today. Looking forward to the ribbon cutting up here. And uh, building strong, Army strong. How wonderful to actually be with you. Um, I am so tired of Zooming and on a beautiful, beautiful day like this to be out here uh, in beautiful Glenview. Um, I love this, this village. Um, President Jenny, uh, we have in my office is a full-time office here in, uh, in Glenview, and we couldn't have a more wonderful, beautiful day to be together to celebrate. So it, this has been a tough time, as I don't have to tell you, and I hope people in your family have been um, well and that you're coming through, hopefully soon the other side, or at least the uh, diminished challenges of uh, COVID-19. Um, but we have been separated from each other. Fortunately, the Army Corps, in about a, a nine-month project, even during this, has been able to put this project uh, together. Um, and I, I just wanted to um, really thank President Jenny. He did even better than the match that was required um, a 25% minimum match, but uh, your village went even further than that um, for this um, $1,100, I guess, that came from the Army Corps of Engineers. Um, and what a difference is making in the lives of so many people. To stop the flooding um, is so incredibly important. It's really um, can, can be such a uh, challenge for homeowners um, who, as uh, you said, come home and find uh, their basements flooded. Um, but for the Army Corps of Engineers, um, this is a relatively small project, small and mighty project. I've had the pleasure of working with the Army Corps of Engineers. Okay, let's go on three. One.